Hello, welcome to another scripting tutorial. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you uh, about welding. So, welding is actually a pretty cool feature in Roblox. It's basically so that if I was a character just walking about the map, I could, and I wanted like a ball to hover above my head, then I could use weld to weld that ball above my head, and the ball would follow me. Okay? Um, I'm going to be showing you how to do something like that in this tutorial. So let's let's get started. Right. I'm going to insert a script into In fact, I'm going to insert a part. Okay. Let's stick that over here. Let's insert a spawn. Uh stick that over there. Make the spawn purple. The part can be green. I just like to make all my spawns purple. Grab those two bricks and anchor them. Okay, inside the part, I'm going to add a script into there, and we're going to put an untouched event. So script dot parent dot touched uh, connect function. Uh, lovely. We need a little hit inside there. We're going to test if it's a person that touched it. So humanoid equals hit dot parent find first child humanoid lovely okay and if humanoid then done so if you don't understand this then watch my previous tutorials and you will understand all of this so now that we've got a simple quick check in there we can begin the welding so what we need to do is we need to find the head of the character because I want to weld a ball above the character's head um, say you're making a game where you need to uh, run to the enemy's base and collect an orb okay you touch the orb and the orb spawns above your head you need to bring that orb all the way back to your base without being killed and if you are killed then the orb just resets okay so you are doing something like that then this is how you do it so head equals hit dot parent dot head okay what I'm going to do is, I'm going to change the shape of this ball, say, into a, into, let's bring it into a ball, here we go, it's a ball now, uh, and I'm going to go to surface, or well not surface input, surface, and make, make it smooth all the way around, like a nice little smooth ball, we're going to make it transparent by a little bit, transparent, make it slightly reflective, and let's make it actually a nice bright yellow, and you know what, why not? I'm going to put some sparkles inside it as well. Lovely. And let's make the sparkles pink. Okay. There we go. Now it really looks like an orb. So, what I'm going to do is, if this is touched, then what we're going to do is, we need to put this orb above the character's head. Okay. So, script.parent.anchored equals false. We're going to make the orb not anchored anymore. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to create a new weld. So weld equals instance dot new weld. Okay, you've never used that before, have you? So, well, you might have, but I assume many of you haven't. If you're watching this tutorial, um, now let's set up the properties of this weld. Uh, weld dot part zero. Whoa okay this looks a bit weird uh, I'm going to do it and then I'm going to explain it after to you so weld.part0 equals uh, head so the thing that we're welding to is e is the part 0 okay weld.part0 is the, is the object that we are welding this orb to okay then there's another thing that we're going to do weld.c0 equals okay whoa again and you're going to have another woe moment when I do this. Head dot C frame inverse. Oh my goodness, what the hell is going on? So, basically, this C0, um, now I'm not going to explain it in too much detail, but I'm going to tell you that this C0 is basically just so that when your player is, is twisting and turning, spinning and all that, then this orb will also twist and spin so it basically it's basically keeps the C frame of this orb relative to what the player is doing 
So if the player is jumping, twisting and turning, then the orb will follow the player and jump, twist and turn as well. And that is pretty much it. So, it's it's pretty simple when I explain it like that, isn't it? And that's what you need to know. Now, another property, world.part1 equals the actual orb itself, so script.parent. So part1 is just the, the part that you're going to be welding, okay, which is the orb. We're welding the orb to the head. And then weld.c1 equals script.parent inverse. So you see how it's not even that hard, look. Part 0 is the thing that you're welding to. C0 is the inverse of the C frame of part 0. Okay? And then, again, same thing for part 1. Part 1 is the orb. And then C1 is just the C frame inverse of the orb. So script.parent.c frame dot in, or inverse. I forgot the C frame bit here. Make sure you include that. Okay? So, when I put it that way, it's not even that hard welding and you're going to see you can do a lot of cool things with welding in fact I'm going to do maybe another tutorial after this uh, about the cool things you can do with uh, diff different welds and stuff so and yeah, I mean that's pretty much it uh, all we need to do now is we need to set the weld parent and it doesn't really matter where you put the parent of the weld uh, weld.parent equals we're going to put the parent of the weld inside the orb because that's you know the object that we're welding so it makes sense to put the parent of the weld there um, so that's pretty much it. Um, what I need to do now is, in fact, I'm going to set the anchored uh, equals false after I've put the weld parent inside there. Okay, and that's it. That is it. Um, what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to test that out by going to test start maybe one player. Actually, no, I'm going to play play solo. I'm going to play solo. I'm going to touch this. Uh, oh, look at that! See that? It's stuck to me. It's it's actually stuck to me now. The the orb is stuck to me. Now, what happened to putting the orb above my head? Well, let's do that now. Let's reset. Let's go to the script. And trust me, this is really simple. All you need to do is uh, say script dot before you make it anchored. Before you make it unanchored. Just say script dot parent dot c frame equals head dot c frame times c frame dot new. Now I know I haven't done that much c framing with you, but this will make sense after I explain it. Zero. Uh, let's move it five studs above the head. Actually, let's move it ten studs above the head. You can move it however many studs above the head you want. Basically, we're setting the c frame, or let's just call c frame position. Okay. Um, I'm going to call c frame position just to make it easier for you. Basically, position is just where the ball is, and C frame is the position, and it's also the angle that the ball is at. Okay, so I could turn the ball at a 30 degree angle, and that would be included inside the C frame. Okay, so we're going to set the C frame of this of this orb to the C frame of the head times uh, a new C frame, which is uh, 10 studs above where it was. Okay, well, not 10 studs above, but 10 studs in the y axis. Okay, so it's 10 studs in the y axis uh, displacement of where the head is. Okay, and that is what we're doing here. We're moving the ball to the head plus 10 studs higher. Okay, and that's pretty much it. And if we just play solo now, we can see that the script actually does work by touching it and oh my goodness what the hell has happened it is it's not worked let's let's go and fix that shall we so c, c frame equals head dot c frame uh huh i might need to do that before the actual welding so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move the ball above the head before we actually weld anything and let's play, play solo now see what happens okay yeah there we go there it is see that it works see that when I jump see my head see my head it moves backwards so does the orb the orb moves backwards as well if I don't want that to happen I can just um, C frame this orb to the I, mean, I can weld the orb to the torso because you can see how the torso doesn't move actually no the torso does move a bit doesn't it let's, let's try this out um, 
let's see torso equals hit dot parent dot torso and I'm going to C frame this orb to the torso there we go just change all these heads to torsos lovely now when I click play solo let's have a look what happens now there we go it stands still oh well, it kind of it, it still moves a little bit and that's because the torso also moves with the animation <coughs> in Roblox uh, this never used to happen before all this animation stuff but now it does and the way to fix it is you could maybe create a I don't know a brick and weld it inside the player uh, and this brick will be standing still it will not move when the player's head tilts um, and you could weld this orb to this new brick if you wanted to um, if you're advanced enough to do that but anyway that is pretty much how to do that if you want the ball to be a bit closer to the head all you've got to do is uh, reduce the amount of studs that we push this higher by maybe change that to five studs higher in the y-axis and you know that's, that's pretty much it's a simple uh, weld script um, you can do a lot of this weld script weld different things together uh, and the weld is very useful if you don't want to actually make the objects touch together and you want to weld weld them together if, if you want the objects to move with with another object then use weld and weld the object together uh, I will have to do some more tutorials on welding because this is pretty much very basic and the things you can do uh, with this tutorial that I've just taught you are very very limited so I might need to do a few more tutorials on weld uh, for you to actually get it properly let me just explain it again though what happens so we've made our simple check script to check if a player is touching the brick uh, we've got our head and torso in the object variable we are C framing our ball uh, we're putting the ball to the head plus 10 studs higher we use a multiply uh, we multiply C frames together when we want to add them together I don't know why they multi use the multiply tool it makes sense if you use add but in C with C frame you just use multiply and when you're using vectors you use add okay so that's what that does we've created a new weld by instancing by uh, making instance of a weld putting it into the weld object we don't want to set the parent until the end of the weld okay set the parent at the end of the world that's just the way I do it um, part 0 is the object that you're c-framing to okay you should not set part 0 to script.parent part 0 should be the, the object that you're c-framing to and then part 1 should be the object that you're actually c uh, I mean that you're welding so part 0 is the object that you're welding to part 1 is the object that you're welding okay um, hold on my phone's ringing I just need to just answer that. Okay, um, and then C0 is just the inverse of the C frame of this part 0, and then C1 is the inverse of the um, of the part 1. Okay, that's pretty much it, and that's all you need to know. Just go over it, do some more welding, get it stuck in your head, and you'll be an expert soon at welding. Okay, and that is the end of this tutorial. Make sure you comment, like the video, uh, share the video to your friends if they want to learn scripting tutorials. Um, Okay, and uh, that's pretty much it. Goodbye, people, and see you in the next tutorial.